Hello viewers, you're welcome back again to Cousins in the Farm. And remember on this channel, we teach you two major things, what you need to know and what you need to do to be very, very successful in snake farming business. So today, I'm actually going to be talking about um, a recurring question that um, they have been asking me mostly in tending snake farmers who keep contacting me on a daily basis. They want to start, uh, they want to go into snake farming business and they keep asking one similar question and that is what i actually want to address today and what actually is that question they keep asking is there a market for snares are there demand for it how can i be able to sell my snare once i go into this business and it starts producing who do i say to where do i say to and today i'm going to be showing you and telling you how to market your snare, how to sell them, and where to sell them. If you can watch this video to the end. I've been a practical snare farmer for two years now. And I can categorically tell you that I have not for once say, ah, I'm looking for who will buy, and um, I have a lot of snares, and I have not seen customers. So what I'm going to be sharing with you today is based on my experience, practical experience that I've been doing. I, I, I currently, I have... A steady customer who is outside the country all i do is that i send to him on a regular basis two months interval he buys nothing less than 1000 pieces so he's into the business that he sells it for um, people that are into in that place so all I, I supply to him so in this video i'm going to show you how i was able to secure that kind of customer and how you can replicate same to actually get that same result but before we start, please, if this is your first time of coming to this channel, if this is your first time of visiting my channel, please, I want you to do me a favor by clicking on the subscribe button below this video and the bell notification icon so that whenever I release an awesome video such as this one, YouTube will notify you. And also, if you are actually a returning subscriber, thank you very much for supporting me. Thank you for always watching my content. I appreciate you and I do not take it for granted. Do also do well to like this video, give this video a like, share this video so that it will help this video to rank on YouTube. So going straight to the question on how um, am I going to market myself? How do I sell my snack? Is there demand for snacks? Yes, the truth is that there's a lot of demand for snacks. The demand is very, very high. As a matter of fact, you can't even meet up with the demand. Is both locally and internationally, the demand is very, very huge. That one person cannot meet up with the demand. Despite the increasing number of snare farmers, the people that are going to snare farming, yet you cannot even meet the demand. Here in Nigeria, not to talk of aside. So the question of asking whether there is market for his how do I said the question might sound funny, but the truth is that it's a good question because nobody wants to go into a business that at the end of the day, no one will patronize him or her. So it's a good question to ask, but for the novice people that are just coming into the business, yes, I can boldly tell you that there is high demand and there is market. So if you go into it, you will not regret on or looking for where um, you have a lot of uh, um, um, a lot of uh, snares and nowhere to sell them. No, no, no. But the worst part of it, the bitter truth about it is that most persons don't want to do anything. They want you to set up the farm for them, train them, and at the end of the day, you even want you to manage the farm and also sell the snares for them. No, it doesn't work that way. In as much as there is a market for it, there is huge demand for it, you must do your own part. You must do your own part. That is a simple truth. And no matter the business you are into, no matter the kind of business you are into and no matter the level of demand the high demand in that particular business if no one know that you are in that line of business nobody will patronize you that is just a simple truth so now how do i get customers how do i get people that will buy my business one is that once you are into the business from the first day that you have been trained you have set up, set up your farm and you have started you have kick start your business you must start doing your marketing. You must start work doing your marketing, pushing it. Start telling people about it. Most persons are shy. 
they don't utilize the power of their social media handles. It's very powerful. Start, let people know that you are into it. The truth is that if I want to buy a cloth and I don't know that you are selling cloth, there is no way I will buy from you. So people must know that you are into snare farming business before they can patronize you. That is the simple truth. And how do you do this? You can do it offline and online. Offline means that you go from one place to another, telling people I'm into this, this is what I do. You know, in your neighborhood, let people know. Because people need snares. People need the health benefit of snare cannot be emphasized. So people need it. So there is a lot of money to make in it. So apart from moving from one place to tell them, you can do what? Pushing the marketing online. The customer I, I told you about at that time, I do supply snares on two, two months interval. He buys nothing less than 1,000 pieces. How did I get to meet the person? I met the person online. We started business. I have seen him live face to face twice. He came back last year, December. And uh, I went, we met. Then this year again, he also came back about, I think that is three months ago. He, he was around and we also met. That's it two occasions that I have met him. But because I was marketing my products online, I was shouting it, carrying my naked on the head, on the social, my different social media handles, talking about it. He was able to come across my page or my profile and saw what I was doing. And it was what he needed. He gets in contact with me, collected my contact, we started talking. And before you know it, he gave it a try. That was how I closed the day. I have another one too. That one, the lady I have not met her for once. She's also a UK. And I sent snare on a regular basis to her. How did I meet her online? We get to connected on Facebook and before you know it, we did the transaction and it was okay. The transaction continues. So one of the ways of getting uh, people to buy your products is one of the ways of making people to get purchase your snacks once it's ready for sale is by what marketing it online on your different social media handles that is one there is no way you market it within one month that people know that you there is no way I, I bet you is what I have done and I'm still doing it so I know that it's working there's no way you will do it consistently for one month that you will not get someone that will order for snack that will order to buy from you so that is one. Then the second way that you can actually uh, say your snares is we have hotels. A lot of big, big hotels, they sell snares in their kitchen department. Their food is part of their meal. They are looking for suppliers. They are looking for people that are trying to eat. So if you can just look within your area, within your locality, and I know that you have a lot of hotels in different cities, in a week or in a month, you are able to visit the Jesu 20 hotels. Out of that 20, at least three will give it a try. I'm telling you honestly. And you can imagine when that three you want the contract and you become their regular suppliers. I think that you can't even meet up their demand. Because they will request, they will keep on requesting. They, they, they are the ones that will be calling you on a steady basis telling you what I know to wear, not what they say or what I read. It's what I'm practicing and it has been working. I hotel is um, is one, then Itris is another one. You visit Itris, tell them that this is what you are into, you deal with snares, you are a snare farmer, you can be supplying them. Are you getting it? So that is how it works. You can go to, it's not only eatery, hotels are mentioned, hotels, eatery, fast food. These persons need it. So we can go, just visit them. It doesn't take anything to dress up one day and walk from one place to another. But the thing that make people to be looking for food to buy their snacks, they don't see where to sell it, and they'll keep asking if there is actually market for it, that they don't want to do the work. They just want to that train them, that set up the farm for them, to also be the one that will do the selling of business for them and they will just relax. They don't want to do the work and it doesn't work that way. So if you are ready to do the work that you cannot look for buyers. So then the next one that you need to do is just 
you can go to the market and supply to those women that sell in the market. If you watch the market, the snacks, the people that are selling itself, that is how they are rushing them. People are rushing them. That is to tell you the high demand of snacks within that area. So if you can let them know that you are into this, you farm it, they will come and be picking from you and be reselling. That oneself, he will not be meeting up that demand at all. Because people, the final consumer that buys from them, buy on a steady basis. And they keep demanding for more, they keep demanding for more. We sometimes we don't even have the ones we sell to those persons. Because we don't meet up. We supply, do major supply to people that are outside the country. We do major supply to snare um, farmers, people that are starting their snare farming business. So most times we are running shortage of um, selling to those final consumers. Sometimes they will come, they need like uh, 10 pieces, 20 pieces we don't have because they have already booked ahead. And we are trying to see how we can meet up with the high demand we already have. And so like, these are the various markets where you can actually sell your snacks. Within your locality, I believe so well that there is are more than, at least within your area, there are more than three markets. Come meet those markets. Meet those uh, women that sell it. Tell them that you are into this and you want to be supplying. You, you want them to be buying from you to sell. They'll be very happy. Why? Because it's even close to them. And if you can give them at a good rate, a good rate, they buy from you. That is all. So if you can do this, I bet you, you never, within time, you will not meet up demand. That is how they will be stopping you from supply. I'm telling you honestly. So, this is actually uh, what I decided to share with us so that you have a clear understanding about how it works. That it doesn't just need to food, sit and food your hand and expect customers to come. No, you need to do your own bit. You need to do your own part. And once you are able to do this, I bet you, you cannot meet up. So thank you very much for watching. I appreciate you. Don't forget to do what to like this video. Do this a like, give it a thumb up so that you help you to rank on YouTube. And also, if you have not subscribed, please you want you to click on the subscribe button and smash the bell notification icon so that you always receive notification whenever I release an awesome video. Thank you for watching. See you in our next video. Bye for now.